So I feel like I am literally the last person in the entire world to make this video. The Time Iron. This is such a trending iron in the world of social media because of its incredibly convincing marketing videos. I have never gotten so many DMs before for a video request as I have with the Time Iron. I was hesitating making this video because there are so many other reviews out there already. But because you DM'd me and I am so committed to you as my audience and I love you and we hang out every week, I got my hands on the damn thing and we are going to spill the tea about this iron and whether or not it's worth its money. If you don't know who I am and you happen to stumble upon this video in the internet black hole, then please remember to subscribe down below if you are into hair, makeup, fashion, and product reviews. We hang out here every single week on my channel. Let's be internet besties. As we always do, let's run through some stats. Let's talk a little bit about this iron and kind of see what makes it special. So this is the Time Iron Pro and it retails for 195 US dollars on the US website. You know, it's actually a really nice, pretty iron. It comes with this bag, which is pretty convenient, you know, when things are really hot and you wanna pack it up. So it is a thermal bag and then you have your iron and it looks like this. I find the color really pretty. I really like the pink. It has a really nice like aesthetic to it. The interesting thing about it is the way that it opens. So it opens kind of outwards, not up and down. So for example, a regular iron opens like this. This iron opens like this. Okay, you with me? So according to the website, it has pretty incredible reviews. There's a one year warranty, 30 day money back guarantee, which is awesome, free shipping. Temperature ranges on here from 300 to 400. So you can set it for 300, 325, 350, 375, 400, according to this little chart on the website. 300, 325 to 350 is for fine processed hair. And then you kind of cross over into thick or natural hair. So that's for hair, you know, that's more resistant. You want to go up in heat. It really is for protection of your hair. Every flat iron is this way, so that's nothing new. You can see that it is titanium plated, which is awesome. And it has an automatic shut off. So if you haven't used it for 30 minutes, it automatically shuts off. As a hairdresser, this is actually super annoying. But for a regular person who is buying this, I can see how it would be beneficial. You know, if you leave it on and you go to work and it's in your bathroom, your house isn't gonna burn down because it's gonna shut off. I'm not gonna lie, when we go over to the learn the iron part of the website, oh honey, it looks, it looks, it looks pretty confusing. Um, it talks about how to section the hair, how to hold the iron correctly, and what kind of sections you want to take. So you want to take vertical subsections and not horizontal subsections. Um, you can also straighten with this iron, so it also shows you how to straighten. So there's a lot of things in here, including common mistakes. And then there's a whole YouTube area where you can go for tutorials. They are trying to help a girl out, but if they are trying to help a girl out that much, it kind of leads me to believe that it's not that easy, but let's try it, okay? Let's like see how it goes. All right, so right now there's some little blinking lights flashing up, which is basically just telling me that my iron is heating up. Woo, it, oh yeah, it's hot. Just burnt myself. What kind of hairdresser am I? Okay, so on the website, it also talks about not even needing to use the clip because you are taking vertical subsections. So I'm gonna try that. I don't know if I'm gonna be successful, but I'm gonna try. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my hair in half and I'm just gonna put it to either side of my shoulders. So the first thing we're gonna do is slice a little section here because we do want vertical subsections. Okay, so I wanna rotate it away from the face. So, how does this work? So I'm clamping, we're rotating once, and then we're pushing through. Oh, yeah, I totally did it. The no clip thing kind of freaks me out because as a hairdresser, I'm so particular about sectioning. But you know, if you actually don't need a clip, this will be great. Okay, so let's try this section. Okay, all right, it's happening. Oh, that one's kind of weird. Let's try that one again. Why? Why is that not? Mm, okay. That one kind of looks weird, but we're just gonna move on. Oh, 
one looks weird too. What the heck? Sometimes it works and then sometimes it doesn't and I'm not sure why. Like, look at how weird this curl looks. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's, it's okay. Let's try the other side before we make any judgments. Ugh, that one looks terrible. Okay, I know they say you don't need clips, but I'm gonna use a clip. I have too much hair on this side and I'm getting messed up. Maybe this is the solution. I'm a hairdresser and like, I even need to use a clip. Just use a clip. You'll get so confused. There's too much hair and it gets weird and just use a clip. Okay, use a clip. You can still take vertical subsections while using a clip. Just in case you don't know what vertical subsections means, it means this. Okay, it's a subsection that's like long lengthwise. Again, that one didn't work. This is so frustrating. No, why? Oh, I think I get it. Okay, so this beveled side here needs to be towards the head. And the straight side needs to be in the back of the head. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh, I have like a fair faucet situation going on here. <laughs> I added too much curl to the front. Okay, knowing what I know now, I'm gonna go back and try to touch up some of these pieces. All right, here's your end result. I don't even know if some pieces are straight because I couldn't really get it all to work super well. But take a look. Okay, a few key points about this iron. It's not intuitive. It's not. Even as a hairdresser and I style a lot of hair, I do a lot of bridal clients, so I'm very good. I would consider myself a master stylist. This is not intuitive for me. I'm still not 100% sure how it works, but I think that the flat side needs to be held to the back. So when you're rotating, you're going this way. Some pieces worked out okay, and then some pieces didn't really work, and I'm not really sure why. Some were doing it really nicely and some weren't. So that's super, super frustrating. In terms of the actual curl pattern, I'm not a huge fan of this type of curl. I much prefer a curling wand curl, which gives you more of like an S shape. I don't think that this is any different than a typical flat iron. I can get this type of curl using my normal flat iron pretty easily, actually in the exact same way, but without being confused about the beveled edge, the not beveled edge, I'm not really sure what the bevel benefits. You know what I mean? Because really, they're just two flat plates, just that they don't open like this, they open off center. And then there's this beveled edge, but this beveled edge isn't an iron, so it's not actually heated in the bevel. So like, why? Is it to control the hair? Oh, I don't know. For me, this is a hard pass. I would not spend this much money on a flat iron that's confusing. It's just like a super confusing flat iron where you could just use a regular flat iron and get the same exact look without being confused. Doing the same exact movement, but not having to worry about what side is front and what side's back. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see some more product reviews on hair type products, then click on those videos now. As always, I love you. I'll see you next week.